Well, good afternoon, everybody. I think Mother Nature has played tricks on everybody today. Uh, Chicky was saying there's places in northern Georgia, Georgia that's out of power. We've had the wind blowing that sucked the doors open today, and we've got sunshine right now. I know Southern Scoops didn't open today because of weather, but you know, fear not, we're still here. And we, I know everybody's excited about the scarves that we've been talking about. And I know we all own a lot of scarves. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do a quick little song that will make you think about scarves. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> Bless be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love, the fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. So we're gonna tie some scarves and we're gonna make you have some confidence that it's time to pull those scarves out and wear them. I think everybody's too concerned about doing it correctly and I think after you watch us today, you're gonna to find out there is no real wrong way to wear a scarf. One of the reasons I love to wear a scarf is because it's a great way to bring colors together. I have on my navy simply in my brick. And this is a scarf from Tresca that has just an abundance of colors and it's reversible. So one of the scarfs that I like to do is very simple and it's easy to do for anybody. You just fold the scarf in half. Once you fold the scarf in half, I'm gonna hold it up long ways like this. Here it is in half. Then you're just gonna get opposite corners. So I'm just gonna drop down and get the opposite corner. Take the scarf, put it around my neck, and I can tie it and have a nice little loop to the side. And then if I have a hot flash, I can take it off. And I can still wear my beautiful Brighton jewelry. Now something else that you probably don't remember or realize about Nancy and me is that we really made a bond through tying scarves together. So, uh, golly Nancy, how many years ago was that? 30? More than 30, probably 35 years ago. I was still at John Mark and Nancy was not working for me then. I was doing a scarf seminar in North Wilkesboro for um, beauty control. And so I went in there that night, long story short, Nancy's husband, Alan, and my husband, Ricky, were supposed to play in a golf tournament together. <laughs> I they, think you said did I say it wrong? Yeah. Anyway, long story long. <laughs> anyway, they were gonna play in a golf tournament and I said, I can't go because I have to do a scarf seminar. Nancy says, well, I'll go with you. So we left the, the Morganton, went back to Wilkesboro with our husbands and I did a scarf seminar. When the scarf seminar is all over with and I'd been up there tying scarves and having a good time with everybody, people were coming up to me and asking me, how'd you do this, how'd you do this? Well, I saw in the back, I saw Nancy and she was answering people's questions. And after it was all over with, I said, gosh, Nancy, you were just perfect. Thank you for your help. How did you, how did you do all that? And she said, well, I just watched what you did. <clears throat> Can't you see you're saying that to me? So since I've said and talked about Nancy, come on out, girlfriend. Let's see if okay. she remembers something that I taught her that day. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do a very simple one here. But one thing I'd like to show you is some of our new cashmere scarves. These are wonderful and they're only $38 but just a cute little quick one that adds a lot of length. And I'm kind of vertically challenged, right? <laughs> so I need a little length. So I'm just do a, a loop of a knot around my hand here and just kind of leave it open. And then I'm gonna take the other part and just drop it down in there. Voila! And just kind of tighten it up. Now and the then, really good thing about this is number one, She's got a V-neck on here. This is very slimming for her face. It helps to elongate and it gives color. And during COVID, if we have anything extra going on here, it helps to camouflage that. So how yeah. great is that? Thanks for that, bringing that uh, to light. Honey. Well, but see, yeah. we camouflaged it. Nobody knows, yeah. okay? You want, also want to talk about this circle around my neck? Well, but the nice <laughs> thing is you've got a beautiful necklace going here. So you still have your V-neck going on with your scarf, That's which looks right. great. Okay, 
Like so this that. is great. So what? since we're talking about this cashmere, do you want to show the other cashmere yeah, right fast? Yeah, let's show the other cashmere right fast. So Nancy uh, is a quick learner, and we're all here to help each other and show you how to do things. Now this scarf is also out of cashmere. This is reversible. These have really sold. So it's like our little Covey wraps that we have that has the little hook over here. It's over here. Right here. Yeah. So you can pushing see I'm window. pushing you into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, I can see now. So there you go. So how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? So girls, the reason we wear scarves are number one, for warmth. Number two, for fashion. It just brings outfits together. It makes a statement. So see, Nancy's reversing that now to the other, and it's gonna be the little reverse pieces even there on the other side. But they're very feminine. It just really adds to an outfit and brings color up to our face and really creates the look that we like to have as we're working with people. Right, and for a shawl, this makes it very hands-free. Yes, very so hands-free. Okay. okay, Nancy, great, thank you. All right, so Miss Jolene, jump over here and let's see what you have created for us. Well, I have one of the really pretty turquoise scarves because turquoise is big this year. And this is a heavier weight scarf. So, But now this is the one that has stretch in it too. Mm -hmm. So see ladies, when you're wearing this around the neck, look at that. And it too is reversible. Mm -hmm. So this one's a little bit heavier weight and it's $48. <clears throat> Um, I like this tie because I get cold in the winter, so the fall and winter, I like to use heavier scarves for this, but you can use lighter weight ones too. So you basically just fold it in half. You can leave it a little bit uneven at the end. You loop it around your neck, and then you take one end, it doesn't matter which, and you pull it through the loop. You twist the loop, and then you pull the other end through, and then you can just kind of tighten it around your neck however much you want. But see, it lays flat, gives you warmth, can wear it with a jacket, over a jacket, but it gives you warmth. And I do this a lot in the winter because I'm always cold. And this really is great because when you have these round necks or you think a neckline is too low, this is a wonderful way to fill in the neck, bring color up to the face. And like she said, turquoise is really strong this, this season. So that's a great look on her. Thanks, Jolene, I like that. Okay, so Miss Jean, let's see what you like to create when you're wearing your scarves there to give a, an easy look. I like a simple put on scarf and the infinitive is one of my favorites. You just take it and drape it over your neck. You can pull it up, have it up close like this, or you can drape it down and have two loose parts, or you can push it around to one side if you'd like and have it over your side. So one of the first things we were talking to is when you get your scarves, girls, look and see what your carry is, and then the next thing you want to do is take the tags off. Take all your little price tags, take all your little cares here out. So this one is dry clean, and it's made out of wool and 30% silk. So that's another tip that we always try to teach you to be sure and take those out of there too, because that's an important thing. But notice how that just brings color up to the face there for Jean and really frames things up or on looks really good on her. This one's only $24 and you get 10% discount. Yeah, there you go. All right, Miss Chicky, let's see what you like to do here. Oh, Libby, Libby girl. I found one with an animal print oh. on one side and on the <coughs> other side. It's a Tresca scarf, and it's $34. So that's a great scarf. Isn't you've that got, gorgeous? This is the black-brown animal, and on this side, you've got your gray-black. So it's going to go with everything. Now, what I like to do with it, and I like simple things. Take it, put it around your neck, tie it. Everybody can do this. And now, just look at yourself as a package, and you're going to put a great big bow oh yeah right here and then turn it around and you can fluff your bow up you can do anything you ends, want right? with it uh -huh. and you can go out you're out ready to go shopping in the cart so this is a great look on on chicky because it does uh frame in the face there and bows are really popular L women feel very feminine in a bow which looks really good too great. thanks chicky all right what in the world have you done over there, Miss Jolene? Nancy dressed me. <laughs> well, uh, we were talking about scarves, and now you have on a vest. I don't understand quite what's going on here. Have you come up with a trick, Nancy? Uh, well, you know, this is something we did years and years ago, Libby. And basically, this is 
the Tresca scarves. These are so cute. Doesn't that just speak fall colors? That looks yeah. like you, Martha Swander. <laughs> Something you would love. So, what we're going to do, we're going to fold this in half. Okay. If I don't fold it in half. It, right. Okay. And then we're going to take these two ends, this hand and this hand. So one is the open end and one is the rounded end, right, Nancy? Right. Mm -hmm. So and that's, you don't gonna... normally tie a rounded end, so that's a good way to remember that. And just tie a little knot in it. And then we're going to open this up. So let's, let's see what you've done here. So if you and take that off, can you put that on? Sure. You mean we've created another vest? <laughs> so you've actually tied and made armholes. Wow. How pretty is that? So girls, when you're traveling, look how cute that would be to have a little vest on with your scarves this way. That's a great idea. Ah, I bet she remembers that one from 35 years ago. Probably. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, that looks great, Jolene. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. All right, Chicky, you've got one of my favorites in your hand. These are the blue Pacific that she's got that we have oh. so many colors of. But now Libby, this is a piece of look art. Look at this. This is artwork. This is a lion. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those eyes there, girls. Look at that. All and you eyes can on see you. this is very, very thin. Very thin. Very supple. So this is a big scarf that you could just make a gorgeous shawl out of. Well, what I like to do, I can just drape it around like this over like this and I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. The nice thing about a scarf like this is that with it being, uh, step up here a little closer, Chicky. With it being cashmere and soft, it's gonna cling to itself. And you can see how beautiful that drapes just around the shoulder. So anytime we drape across the side here, it's very feminine. You usually wanna turn a scarf to the left. Left means you're a lady. And uh, that way it's a more feminine look on you also. But scarves like this, so just stand there a second, Chicky. A scarf okay. like this, you can see, girls, just how soft, right? It just balls into nothing. So if you're traveling, it's a wonderful way to have it in your handbag. If you're on an airplane, a scarf will give you instant, instant warmth. But you can just take a scarf like this and just throw it around your neck. Do nothing else but throw it into your, oops, I'm doing it on the wrong side. And look. Just how beautiful that is. It frames the face, it gives you color, and it just gives you that soft look there. That's why when you're walking through our store, you'll see so many of our things displayed with a scarf because it just frames the face there. And really, remember, we're always teaching an accessory is an invitation to look. And you want everybody to look up here at our beautiful faces. And that's gorgeous on you, Chicky. I love that. Thank you. And it's comfortable. Yes, because it's so light. Yes. All right, Nancy, Good. what have you got? Well, I just wanted to pull out another <clears throat> one of these pretty digital print scarves oh wow and so, they're pretty with look the at lightning the lightning on the ocean. Bolt here the lightning and there's a rainbow going across here it just has so many colors girls love that look so all these blue pacific scarves are just dynamite they're only 56 dollars, and you can just take them like i said and make them soft you know right now we've got on black or we've got on navy but I love to wear mine with my jeans also. This is a great little scarf that you can just throw on and wear with a jean too, which looks really good. All right, so let's have Jean come back over here. She's thrown on her little uh, cardigan in her beautiful Simply here. So now this is a scarf to really speak of. This scarf that Jean has in her hands right now is a Tresca. This scarf is only $32. Let's show them one side. This is this is gorgeous. Look at all the blues, the yellows, the oranges. Now, sometimes you say to yourself, I can't wear orange, but look, you can wear a touch of this because it's gonna be all wrapped up here. But look at the other side of this scarf. This has all your purples. It has all your different colors. Like I said, this scarf knows no season. I've got a gorgeous little turtleneck here in this beautiful soft purple. And look how that scarf just goes back with that. But Jean has on the lapis, and look how it goes back with the lapis. So Jean, we were talking earlier, and you said when you tie this around, instead of, instead of folding it straight, you like to just have it at an angle, right? That's right. So That's see if it's at an angle like this, it's gonna have a soft look. And then we're just gonna tie a knot on the ends here. And let it hang down. And show how you can just frame a jacket here, have the blue, have this hanging down with all the color, 
and it, and if she were to get too hot, she can just take her jacket off or her scarf off, and she still has color going on with this outfit. So that's a beautiful look there too. And if I get cold, I can wrap it around. You can wrap yeah. it around when you're going out. And another thing with scarves like this, if you do have on a scarf, then you can also take these scarves and say you're going in a store and you forgot your mask, you can take the scarf and you can wrap it around and bring it up over your mask and over your nose and face there too. So you'll have another way of having a scarf there and having some protection. That looks great, Jean. Thank you, honey. All right, Miss Jolene, what are you gonna show us? Okay, I have one of the Tresca scarfs that has the black and the brick and the khaki in it. And the nice thing about this scarf is it has already has that wrinkled look. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's nice because it does have that little texture to it. So like she says, there's the brick color, there's the khaki color, there's the black, all that in there. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to scrunch it up like this, put it over my neck, and you can make the circle as big as you want or as small as you want so you just I just tie it down here and then I tie a square knot so it looks when you're done with it it's just uh, looks like it's square there and then you just take it and you can toss it over your shoulder like that and it will stay that to me is one of the cutest ones we can do because it's just very flattering here at the neck like she said if you tie this shorter it'll just bring the scarf up closer to the neck, but I like this loop on her because it gives a place for the jewelry to sit and then the way that sits across your shoulder too. And remember, I mean, when you have it this way, it really is not as flattering, as feminine as it is when we turn it to the side. And if you are busty, you've already got a bust going here. Instead of sitting something on the shelf, you want to turn it to the side and have that nice feminine look and that soft look going on there too, which is very, very flattering on the body. And I also like to wear it like over, if I have on a winter jacket or something and I'm going out just to give it some color, you can just throw that on and it's easy and looks really nice. Yeah, that looks great, Jolene. Thank you, honey. All right, Chick, what crazy idea have you come up with here? Look at what the wind has blown in. Oh, it's a movie blending. star, a look movie it. star has arrived at Libby's. Look at what I found in the store, Libby. Our UBU jackets yes. that are done by the artist. Yes. And a scarf that matches. Scarf Jackie Kennedy look. You look just like a movie star. Brighton. Can I have your autograph? Oh, Brighton. Brighton sunglasses. Yes, and my Brighton elephant. So you put on these sunglasses and this big scarf like this, and you can go out without your makeup on, too. You're not a kid. <laughs> Look it. But thanks to you, Libby, I'm in a complete outfit. Well, this scarf is gorgeous, girls. Can we um, take that one off, Chicky, so I can actually show them a little bit oh, about this, this scarf? this is luscious. This is Look one of the this. scarves from UBU that's done by the artist, and it matches the jackets. We have them that have the girl. These will also know no season. It has the beautiful royals, the reds. You know, and when you look at a scarf and when you play with a scarf, you always want to take them and put them in your hands and kind of just mess with them and see what colors really show up, where you want to put that color at your face, which is important too. And our lovely Chicky okay. did a great job with that. Oh, with the help <laughs> of Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Miss Nancy, what have you got? Okay, I'm back again at another uh, one we learned years and years ago. Okay, this is one of the Tressa scarves as well. Lots Beautiful. Of, lots of colors. Uh -huh. You've got reds and blacks on this side. On this side, you've got uh, oh, purples, purples and, and grays. 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 Charcoal right. gray. This is a wonderful way to make charcoal gray come to life. All right, so I'm just going to take that and wrap it around my neck, kind of go up a little bit on my left shoulder. Mm hmm Tie a little loose knot. Okay, okay, so we got a loose knot, knot here on the left right, side. See where I can still put my fingers through that. Okay. So kind of, keep it kind of loose like that. And then over on this side, and you don't have to be real neat about this by no means, but this scarf is wide enough that I'm gonna kind of fold, fold it in half, half a there. little bit. Okay. And then just kind of start at the bottom and I'm gonna pleat it up, kind of like you'd fold a church fan. When you're having a hot flash uh -huh. and you kind of fold up a church fan yeah. and just kind of start fanning yourself a little bit there. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna drop my outside hand. Uh-huh. And take this. And go up through, I bet. Up, up through. Oh, wow. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull this back, my first knot I made. Okay. The bottom side there to tighten that up there. And you're already gonna have cut off that tag, right? Uh, exactly, did that, to, <laughs> did that to start with. Yeah, 
Oh, now see, that so is definitely a way to take just like a go-to classic uh, t-shirt, uh, to take one of the dresses from Simply in the little solid colors, because Simply in a lot of our solid clothing just screams for the icing on the cake, and that's what the accessories do with your Simply outfits here too, which is really good. Okay, and one other thing that looks kind of similar to this, but you fold your scarf differently. See, she did listen really well. <laughs> Yeah, All right, so, so you're folding it in half. Folding it in half. Okay, and I'm going to do like you did earlier. Get opposite so, corners. Get opposite corners. Okay. This is easy to do if it's laying on the bed. And you're you can just pick dressed. them up on the opposite ends. Right. right. Okay. So it's opposite corners. Opposite corners, and it, it kind of gives you kind of that sailor look. Oh, it sailor does. Uh -huh. Okay. So this is going to go around. Remember when we used to do this and we'd take it this way? Right, and, take this and that's a great way to fill in a, a neckline. You can. You can do that as a collar there, girls. But that's not what I was going to show. Well, no, but that's that's great. Let's stop and show them that again. Because, see, she's got on a V-neck, and all she's done is tuck that in. So lots of times when a top's a little bit too low, this is and the the fabric of this stays, girls. It really does. So you can just you can or just you can fill in top. that neck. Um, you can go all the way, way around, around and fill it in this way, too. So it just gives you that really good look there at the face. Kind of a, like a little mock neck or something right. underneath your top. Yeah, with a little color and a little print. Mm -hmm. Great for travel. And I keep saying that because we are going to travel, girls. We certainly are. Yes, we Somewhere. are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even if it's just to my house and your yeah. house, we're going to travel. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to knot both ends. Okay. Still, still kind of loosely because I'm going to end up cramming one upside down. The, up, up okay. okay. Gotcha. Okay. And I'm going to take this. Yeah. Let me do this first. Then this side, I'm going to make a larger loop. See, I'm not just kind of a large loop around my hand. And this is what I'm going to take up through my knot and pull it tight again to tighten it. That's really pretty, and it just makes a little, almost like a half bow. Uh -huh. Wow. Isn't that pretty, girls? Uh, once again, that tag has got that's to come why, off That's of why you take first the tags off, that. girls, first thing. How great that looks. So there's another cute little look. So it's a wonderful way to bring colors into your outfits. Has everybody showed their scarves over there? So it's a great way to just bring an outfit together, to bring colors together. Um, I like to also think about sometimes when you're wearing a scarf, it makes me think of men's ties. You know, years ago uh, when I was at John Mark, your tie was your statement piece on a man, and it still is to this day. And that's why your scarves, your accessories are so important because it brings all that attention up to your face, which is so wonderful. So we have scarves in all different price points. The ones from Tresca are 32 and they're reversible. So I like to say $16 a side or 10% uh, off on top of that even. Uh, the ones that have cashmere are great. Uh, it's only six, seven weeks, seven weeks to Christmas mm -hmm. tomorrow. So seven weeks from today's Christmas Eve. So really what scarves we have is all we're gonna have this season. So if you've seen something you love, you're gonna wanna come in here and grab them. Um, I've got a beautiful one here just thrown around the neck of a denim vest and a white blouse. This is a great scarf here. These are the ones that are from Rapti Fashions. They're only $48 and the colors are a little different on both sides. Nancy has tied another one that's just really pretty here. When you look at this one, this is another one that helps to elongate. This one's really cute. This is one of those cute uh, tops from Multiples that's only $49 plus your 10% off. And then we have the jeans from Ruby Road. And then look how that scarf just comes together with the outfit. Here's another beautiful one. This is on the beautiful um, Simply Top here, and this is one of the artisans that we have from UBU that really frames in the face there, too. And these scarves are 64, is that right, Jolene? I believe so. I think so, 64, because, you know, this is a work of art, and some of the ones from uh, Blue Pacific, some people like to even hang, hang them on their walls and things, too, which is really great. Jean has another one here that she's bringing me from Blue Pacific. So see, look how you just take a pair of khakis and add a little black jacket and then just frame up the face there with that beautiful scarf, which is gorgeous back with this here too. And then Nancy has one of our camel. Um, this is a camel jacket from Softworks. 
and it's in that faux suede that's very, very soft. And we've just draped that beautiful scarf like JoLynn had tied there to the front. And you know, it looks so different when you do turn it to the side there to frame in the face. So you can see, girls, the importance of a scarf and how a scarf can really add to an outfit. So I know all of you have said to me, I've got so many scarves in my closet and I don't know what to do with them. What you do with them is wear them. You keep them in your closet where you can see them. They're great around your winter coats. They're great around a raincoat because it'll keep makeup from getting on your coats. But you wanna pull them out and you wanna wear them. You want to enjoy them because they're very feminine. And if you wear one, usually, most of the time, somebody's gonna say, I love that scarf on you. That's so feminine. I love that look on you. So don't be afraid of scarves. And if you are, come in the store and let us help you. We'll time, we'll teach you again, and we'll just show you how you can just grab a scarf and throw it on and have that perfect look. Any other closing thoughts, girls? Yeah, Libby, how do you store your scarves? I have mine around a, uh, one of my velvet type hangers. Okay. I drape them around there, and then I have a scarf hanger also. But I keep them right in the center of my closet so I see them. You know what I do? What do you do? You know those clear bags like quilts or blankets or something come uh -huh. in too? Uh -huh. I just take mine, put them all in there so it's clear. You can see you all can see your them. colors and it's right on the top of my closet right great. there. Great. That's a great idea too. So, that's so, a good tip for you also. Yeah. It's important to pull them out and use them and wear them. So um, don't be afraid of pulling out your scarves and enjoying wearing your scarves. And when you come into Libby's and you see scarves around, Joanne, grab me that dummy there. You can just see the difference it makes because um, when we have some outfits put together, I mean, like this is a gorgeous, a gorgeous um, sweater here. And this is from Orly and it has like the little two pockets, but it kind of looks boring this way. But when you put that scarf around here, then you can see that it goes from just an open neckline and see if you say well that neckline's too big for me see how you can fill it in with that scarf especially that tie that jolyn loves to do so don't be afraid of your scarves don't be afraid to pull them out wear them and enjoy them because scarves are for the women who love to look fabulous and all of my girls do thanks for watching and thanks for letting us have our show a little bit earlier even though the sun is shining, we thought the weather was going to get worse. But blessings to everybody, and blessed be the tie. Yeah.